welcome back to the seven questions with NTG. Listen, tonight mm -hmm. I have a very, 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 very special guest, Philly music man. Um, personally for me, he has, he was one of the first people that I met when I came onto the music scene, myself mm -hmm. and my husband, Andrew, better known as Thurl AF, formerly Young Draw. Okay, mm. but he was one of the first ones that actually helped us to meet some other artists, studios. He was basically the connect <laughs> mm. for just everybody. You know, he introduced us to some, you know, major people, helped us get in the studio, shot the first video that we ever did, some concepts. I mean, he just, he's the man. Philly Music Man is mm. the man. <laughs> so, I just want to thank you humbly, you know, because you have been not only instrumental in my music, but just as a friend all of these years. So it's just an honor to have you on my show. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. I appreciate being on your show. Appreciate to call you family and your husband. You've been a good, um, how can I say, inspiration to us all. You know, you was there with my pop patch. Yeah, your husband came and showed support. So it's more than just music with us and there's family with us. Yes, it is. So why don't you go ahead and um kind of introduce yourself, let people know what you do. Uh, well, I got the name Philly Music Man because I love music and I love my city. You know, and I love the artists here. I just want to give people opportunities to come out their neighborhood, come out their comfort zone, and give them good topics to talk about, um, meet people, showing that, hey, you don't have to be hard all the time. You know, because when you, you only, how can I say, you keeping yourself from, Bring your rise and when you stuck in a box. Right. So get out your, you know, get out your area, you know, come meet other people. You know, if you want to be great, you gotta be going against people that might be on your level or better and make your pen better. So I'm just trying to get people to get together, you know, show love and support to one another because it's cheaper when you have a team. You do it by yourself, it you know, it can really drain you, you know, mentally and your pockets. Yeah, definitely, especially the independent route. Right, right. Independently, it's very expensive. So you're right. It is good to have a team around to support each other. I mean, and then Philly as a whole anyway, it's good to to have more support in Philly because Philly has a lot of talent, but it's hard to get Philly artists to come together and stay right. there. You know? And funny thing about, I, w I was more known outside of Philly than I was in Philly. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I got so many connects with people in different parts of the city and outside, I'm in parts of the country and outside of the country. Wow. I was more popular outside of, uh, outside of Pennsylvania and and also outside the country more than I was in Philly before. Like I, I had to always give a shout out to Rain Man, AK RJ Payne, because sure. meeting him and working with him mm -hmm. for in my, like I say, my name. Okay. You know, because you know he's international, you know, MV, MTV battle champion, assigned to Def Jam. He have a history. So yeah. by me working with him and me being older and know how to talk to people to bring a defense down you know it had to be this way if i'm a grown man i know how to talk to people you know it's all about talking and how you talk and and, and what you say and how you say it you know have people uh, take a chance with you and and i want to shout out to everybody who helped me out yourself other people as well because it wasn't for y'all i wouldn't be where i'm at so it's not a i don't want nobody to think that i'm just a connect i want everybody to feel everybody's a connect if they allow themselves to be connected right Okay, that's a good point. And then thank you too for introducing me. You introduced us, uh, myself and Thurl, to uh, Rain Man. Well, R.J. Payne now mm. was Rain Man, um, Izzy for real, and now yeah, he had our names. <laughs> <laughs> he switched it up on him a couple of times, yeah, but yes, he did. We were, um, we were able to meet, and we actually did a track together too. Yes, yes, and, and he was in your video. Yeah. Yeah, and he was in the video of the uh the the first video that we right. ever did, which of course you facilitated that. So you put that together with them productions, and we had a lot of cameos there, a lot of good people. Yeah, you know, and um, you gave him some heat on that track too. Oh yeah, yeah it was not. <laughs> he was like, "Whoa, I ain't expect to come like this." It was a it was an honor, you know. Like you said, when you have somebody so talented, it make you step your game up. You know what right, I mean? Right. There with some crap, and you going on there with RJ. You know, you gotta come. You gotta come strong for sure. Well, you always did. It was no doubt about. That's why I really, I, I really promoted you more than any other female because of your aura, your character. I mean, you're a loving person. 
You give out your best, your, your words, your bond. If you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. You know, I see your struggle and see the passion you had in your music, and you ain't just going to put out just anything and how you carry yourself. A lot of these girls that say just anything out their mouth, you have respect for yourself. You know, so that made me push you even harder. And sometimes I might have been too hard on you. It's only because I know what you can do. Oh, wow. See, that's why that's why we became family, you know, because it was more than just music. It was a genuine respect, you know. Right, right. So, um, and, plus, and plus, your husband played a big role, too. Oh, yeah. I like the fact how he showed support to you. He's always there for you. You know, that made me feel even better. Like, yo, you know, this this, this is the one. And plus, you're the first rap couple. Y'all got I'm married. Like... <laughs> you know what I mean? He put a ring on that. You know what I mean? Ring on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so that's something that makes you even more different than the rest of them because they talking that they all that, but they don't have to, they, they, they hand is bare. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's true with the class at. Well, yeah, it shows his, um, his commitment, his level of, definitely, most definitely, you know, cause it's, it's, you know, you have a lot of people that's together a long time and things like that, but for him to make that, that leap, you know, that, yeah. that means a lot. That's important. And I, I think got love for both of y'all. Black love. You know what I mean? I'm I'm bigging that up all day long. Love, period. But of course, yeah. in our community, like I, you know, you want to see more black love. You want to see more black people mm. getting married and you know, right. having families. Because that's what it's all about. True, you know, true. That's what it's all about. Um, who are some of your influences and who have you worked with that you, you know, that you want to mention as far as musically? Ooh, that's a lot of people. Well, first everything started with Zen production. Oh yeah. Him, oh, yeah. him and his wife, Monica. Um he was the he's the connect. What I mean by that, um, the studio. He yeah. made beats. He records. Um, yeah. he does videos. You know yeah. what I mean? I learned from him. If it wasn't from him. I wouldn't know none of this stuff. You know, I sat down and listened to what he was saying. He guided me in so many different ways, and then I put it my own uh, touch to it. You know, yeah. um, so always going to be Zim Productions. Um, VA Paper Chaser. She's another family yeah. member. Good, pay, good person. Yeah. Um, she does. She does music. She does videos. Yep. She, uh, she does it all. She's another person who I put next to you, but still got you over. You know, you to me, you number one period. Always have been. You know, I set the bar high when it comes to female bar female rappers. They had to be either on your level or close to. I had I don't see nobody better, but just they you set the bar for me when it comes oh, wow. to So it's her. Um Butterfly Nay, another great oh, yeah, um, rapper. Really oh, she got she, she's 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 complete. You no know, yeah. yeah, she's better than she <laughs> thinks she is. You know, yeah. Um, I like Miss Porter. Ooh, Miss Porter, um, another problem. Yes, VA Medusa. Too, VA a problem. VA a problem. Porter, Butterfly Nay, yeah. all of them. Then, then, then you talking about our squad. Look how big our squad. You talking J Dub? I mean, come on. You talking about um Sunny Black, Facial yeah. Fever. Yeah. You're talking about um Dollar Rise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we we got we got a big click. Some you know, big click. Some yeah, and also I can't leave out the boy self love. It wasn't for self love. He's the first artist I work with. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't for self love, I wouldn't be here now. Okay. So gotcha. I definitely want to start him off, you know, with him. Yeah. But it's it's so many different people, man. I, I work with any like cash, no cash. Yeah, he's um, very dope. Very dope. I mean, man, as I, I worked for Floyd Swain. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I worked for Scorp the Bull. You know what I mean? S5. S5, Shelly Anno. I mean, you you name it. I work well. Yeah. You know, I, it's, 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 it's not a name. Well, when we was doing rap, I haven't worked with. Now, I don't even know who was out right now. You know, yeah, it, it true. really changed. Yeah. You know, I don't know nothing about the ones that's out now, but back then, you no, know, it's it's just so many people I work with. Then you talking about I did the battle rap too. So it's so many people I work with there. So it's a lot of names. If I miss anybody's name, please don't take it personal. It's just too many. It's a lot. I know you worked with just about, like you said, just about everybody. Yeah, it's yeah. so it's so many. It it just goes yeah. on and on and on. So I know it's it's hard to kind of nail down everybody, but everybody you named is fire. You know, what I mean, again, shout out to Zen Productions. Zen Productions is mm -hmm. Like you said, Ines, Ines too. Ines, yeah. Oh, oh, and my, man, I can't put my, um, oh man, C Merkham. We can't forget C Merkham. Oh, C Merkham had the, the, the uh, studio too. 
and, and video and, and we can't forget envy that's another one. Oh, envy is uh his his lyrical ability is crazy See, that, that's my point so every time i start talking i'm thinking about another person that's how many people <laughs> I, I work with you know i, what I mean I mean, and, and it's a lot of, like I said, it's so many people outside the state. I work MRC and I was about I mean, to say another side of town, MRC. Yeah, yeah he's dope. He's dope. So, and, and and we can't forget our, our man, Will Mack. Uh, oh, yo, Will Mack. Man. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Man. Can't forget Will Mack. No, but love him. And my son, Mugger, you know, Mugger, yeah. he, he, he don't rap no more, but Mugger was out there. With, he, he's one of the ones who really pushed me too because. His birthday when he turned 16 was to meet Raymond. Mm. So that's how it started. You know, self love set it up for me. Okay. And you know, it was his present for my son, you know, and and it wasn't a present, but it was something I know on that day I want to spend time with my son. I know this is what he wanted to do. And we brought Rayman to the studio thing. So self love and that's how it connects. So that's why I say that everybody is a connect if they allow themselves to be connected, you know. Yeah. And you know what? DNA too. You yeah, DNA, to yeah, DNA. Together. DNA. Get on the track with DNA and Will Mac together. So yeah. And I work with Cortez also. He's another battle rapper. And um Murrah Mook, Murrah Mook is another battle rapper. Right. <laughs> so it's what, a lot of people. What's the young lady's name? Um Isis the Savior. I Isis said, yeah, yeah, Isis said, yeah, definitely. I, I forgot know. about her. Yeah, I, she's nice. She's nice. And Miss yes, Jerks. Miss Jers. Miss Jers. Okay, okay. She's Dior. Dior now. But okay. Miss Jers, when we were making music and stuff like that, when we were uh, you know, making music together, but right. she's dope too from Jersey and you know, just and we can't forget about. how I met you come from the person Iosis. Iosis. Oh yeah. man, you taking it all yeah. the way back. That's how I first met you. He, he, yeah. he was the one who bragged about you. Oh wow. He hit me. I was like, yo, man, you gotta see this girl. Ios is, uh, I mean, um, NTG, and you guys see this girl, see this guy, Sonny Black. That's how I met y'all, too. Wow. Yeah, Sonny Black, you know he's family to me. Oh, yeah. You know, so he's so when, she, when I saw his video of you rap, I said, oh, let me talk to him. Put me down with And that's how, that's how officially, me and you met from Iosis. Oh, wow. Shout out to Iosis. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a, he's a really, really good dude, and he, he connected a lot of people, too. Yes, he did. He helped me a whole lot. I me mean, a whole lot. He had a great platform. He had a um, he did. radio show at Volta Radio, and it was um, oh god, I can't remember the name right now. It's okay, but yeah, he's he's definitely a dope dude and did a lot of good stuff. You know, for a lot of good for a lot of people. You yeah, know? I agree. Um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna ask you a question. So now you saw the movie The Best Man, right? Right, right. Most people saw most black people anyway. So. Right, right. So in the in the uh the movie they asked what's your top three, so for Morris Chestnut's character it was God, family, and football. For you, what's yeah. your top three in your life? Oh, uh, first three in my life. Yeah, like the top three that you you know. Oh, God, uh -huh. my wife, my mom. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's that's, that's touching. You know, and that's I know. Shout out to your wife. You know what I mean? Because you always, it's beautiful how much you love your wife and how you big your wife up. It's an yes. example to, because you work with a lot of artists. So it's right. good to have a man, to see another man showing so much love to his woman. And it's a good example. That's a great example to set. Yes. So they can and also, if I, I got to tie that three with my kids. Yeah. I mean, definitely that, babies, you know. Of course, the babies. <laughs> yeah, that's my kid. I want to leave that out. Some people, somebody, you know, it's always somebody wondering, well, he ain't say his kids. What type of man is that? <laughs> you know, there's yeah. you know, always somebody hating, you know. He always got something to say, of course. Yeah, so I just want to put my kids in with that too, definitely. What do you feel like makes an artist unique and somebody that you're interested in working with or helping out? Well, I would have to say different. Mm -hmm. Um, Not being a trying to be that Joe doing everything everybody else doing. I come from an era where everybody was different. Yeah. They had a song called Biting. You know, you couldn't sound like nobody. Right. Now everybody sound like each other, look like each other, dress like each other. Like, yeah. you know, you already know what the song is going to be before you hear it. Right. You know, have your own style. When when you look in that mirror, be be happy and see what you, see, what you uh, see, see your face because you like what you see. Mm. Don't be a person looking in the mirror and don't know who he is because okay. you're trying to be like everybody else. Right. 
you know, have concepts mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. people can adjust to because everybody's not a gangster. Right. Everybody's not a drug dealer. Mm-hmm. So I hate when people say that's that's where I'm from. No, it's not where you're from. You might have drugs in your area, but you have other problems in your area. Because right. if it wasn't for working people, it wouldn't be no neighborhood. Yeah. So don't give me that drug stuff. No, give me the, the topics of fatherless kids, uh, mothers being abused, uh, police brutality. There's so many different concepts that everybody want to be against. Right. That's true. So that's, that's true. why I look I look for a person. I, I always say I look for a person in the R. Kelly type of situation. Mine. And, and what I mean by R. Kelly, I feel he's a R. Kelly, not R. Sylvester J. Kelly, who who's in jail. I'm talking R. Kelly, that R is. Okay. The person, when you look at R. Kelly, nobody can hit topics like he do. He hit every topic. Yeah. He worked, he'd he, he been on every type of music, rock, yeah. roll, um, jazz, gospel, you know, so things. So it's showing that an uh, artist always try to um, outdo himself, you know, look, look for the next challenge. So yeah. I want the artist not to stay in the box, you know, venture out, you know, uh, try different things. Okay, you did enough hard rock. You did enough rap. Do some jazz. Rap, rap on different beats. Do on different topics. You no, know, don't, don't, don't keep your mind just in one place. That is definitely that's a that's a good point. Showing how um, goodness, I'm I'm losing my words here today. But showing how you can um do different concepts, like you said, not yeah. being stuck in a box. And right. just one thing, yeah, you can rap the streets. Can you rap about something conscious? Can right. you rap about love? Can you, you know, there just you go. topics? Not the same thing all the time. And see, that's how when people say they get writer's block, I, I ask how. Well, there's so much stuff to write about. Yeah. It's you a see, lot you don't get right when you go when you go up to your door, there's always something to write about. Right. Look all the creation that God made, all the situation, the problems going on. Look what's going on at uh, uh, overseas wars and stuff so it's so much stuff to write about there's no there's no excuse to say you have writer's block when so much to write about exactly you're right is there anybody that you would like to work with no nah, i'm good not I'm really good. No. i'm done the reason why I be, the reason why i said because how is that my name is bigger than some of the artists i work with mm. so it shows me that you ain't putting that work in okay if, if you want to invest in yourself why should i invest in I and got not, you. you know what I mean? And, and, and the sad thing about a lot of these people out here now, they feel everybody supposed to give to them. Right. I, I hate when people say my day one friends. Okay, yeah. your day one friends, but ask yourself, are you a day one friend? Yeah, that's true. You see that's my true. point? You just can't say Philly support Philly and you ain't supporting nobody. Right. right. You know, so when I stopped because other issues, but also to the fact that people like you, VA and everything, Y'all appreciative. Yeah. Sunny Black, Fisher, y'all appreciative. He's the, this new generation now is not appreciative. Yeah. You know, yeah. They want, they want, wow. it's a me, me type of world. Yeah. I can't work with me, me type. I, I got I, I gotta work with people who say we. Yes. You know, so due to the fact I see the people out here is not about the we and just me, I just exit. <laughs> you know. That makes sense. That makes yeah, a lot of sense. Because see, when I go for that stuff, I take that home with me. Yeah. And when I when I'm out here working with y'all, I'm taking time away from my family. Yeah. Absolutely. So I so it gotta be somebody that's appreciative. Cause yeah. cause when I'm going out my way, I'm going my way to help this person with their dream. Right. You know, so if you don't appreciate what I'm doing, hey, I gotta leave. And that's and that's the biggest problem. Yeah. That's the biggest problem I have. People they always and all and they they if how can I say I think they feel they soft. If they give somebody their flowers. That's a Philly thing, I think, too. Yeah, yeah. That's big in Philly. Everybody don't want to be considered, I mean, I hate to use this term, but a dick eater. So everybody you was, go. you know, oh, I ain't sweating them. Like, even after the shows and stuff, you know, people will like how you perform, but they won't say anything until you come off the stage. Then they'll say, yeah, that's sad. Go. That's, corny. that's sad. It's corny. Because if you want to sell records, how can you sell records if you won't support Exactly. They don't, you don't realize that person you salute and you work with that person now, you gather their friends, their fans. Right. right. They they gonna help them. That's my man's son, so he's hot. A promotion on the how can I say can be free if you know how to do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? You got a network. You got a yeah, network. there you go. That's the word network. So network. if you only hot in North Philly, that's stupid. 
Yeah. You want to be hot. You want you want to be hot outside your city. Exactly. You want to be hot in different states. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to be respected, but see that they don't look at it that way. This is why you don't see too many people getting signed. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody Man. wants to sign fill yards because they feel like you're gonna get killed, locked up. You don't appreciate nothing, yeah. and 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 you have a nasty attitude. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying everybody like that. Right. But it's a lot of them like that. And when yeah. people pay paying money yeah. to sign you and they see this, they, they they think everybody like that, you know. So, you know, I, I'm good with that. You know, I had fun with it. I enjoyed it. You know, it's a part of my life. Um, I'm happy to be a part of other people's lives and careers. You mm -hmm. know, it, it was a good it was a good thing. Definitely. And you like I said, you have been instrumental in a lot of people's dreams. So, you know, just giving you your flowers now, you know, and appreciate, appreciate it. everything you've done because Again, you're not just, you weren't just instrumental in our career as in me and my husband, but you've been uh, instrumental as our friend and as our family. Appreciate that. Appreciate Likewise. 100%. I'm going to I, mean, uh, I, I just want to say one thing about you. I want to give you your fun. Sure. Look how you grew since I first met you. Oh, wow. You, you were just a rapper. <laughs> yeah. Then you went to being a great performer. Oh, wow. Then you went to, then you went to recording your own self. Mm. Then you went to making your own labels and your pictures. You know what I mean? Then you went to having, a, on, you was on Coast to Coast DJ. You became yeah. a DJ. See, I know your history. Yeah, yeah. And then, then, from, then from there, you start doing, you did shows with um, uh, Fire Chick. Yes. You know what I mean? So you went, you, you, you really study the game. You, you then, you know, how I can say you evolve where not just the artists, mm. you know, you evolve in entertainment completely. So it's good to see a person just, okay, I seen now, I knew for 10 years, he's just a rapper. Yes. No, you more than just a rapper. You're mm. entertainer. You're wow. a DJ. And look, look all the people you help out. Because people don't realize when you put out them CDs, you was helping them out promote. Yes. You know what I mean? So, so that's the thing what I love about you and your husband. Y'all both so giving and y'all humble and y'all want to help everybody and you want to work with everybody. This is why you... What you uh, where you at right now? Got your show right now. Look at the um, picture behind you. I'm in the first CD. I uh, uh, I um uh, hosted with a DJ A. Yeah. You know I mean, God shot DJ A. Out, you know, so okay. just seeing how you came out and what you're doing now, it's a good thing. It's wow. a good thing. Thank Proud you of you. So much, and you know, we love you honestly. Hey, love y'all too. Love y'all too. We do. I want to give you just some word associations. So I'm awesome. just saying. A couple of words and just say the first thing. Don't think about it. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. Okay. All right. So family. Love. Friend. Honor. Uh, love. God. Mm. Work. Survival. Money. Trouble. Ooh, wow. That was it. Okay. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> That's deep. That's deep. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going, I'm going to let people think about it and let it marinate in their mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, but I get it though. I get yeah. it. I get it. Um, yeah. We get ready to end it off. I appreciate okay. you taking this time with me yeah. again. I so love you. I appreciate you. You're my friend, my family. You've been in this business with me for a long time. So yes. it's just such an honor just to have you here and just work with you all these years. Just knowing you has been a pleasure. Hey, likewise. You know what? In that background, once you you should put a picture of you and your husband when y'all marry. Oh yeah, yeah. See, let let people see how the connection is. Black love is for real. I, I'm gonna add that too. Yeah, you just you ain't you just not talking it. You show look what happened to me. This can happen to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a good idea. I'm gonna add that to it. Um, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? In music. This period. Wherever, whichever way you want to take it. Craziest thing I ever done. When I got myself right with God and I went back to the people I was to do dumb stuff with and try to preach to them. Okay. The reason why I said the craziest thing is not crazy. It's something I'm supposed to do. The craziest thing is because they would never expect me to do something like that. Mm. They would never say, hey, Cole, this is what you used to be. And now that you're talking about, yes. I'm trying to show them it's a better way, you know? So I think that's the craziest thing I've done because a lot of people didn't accept it. 
A lot of people look at you when you start talking about God and get yourself right that you soft. Right. No, you're not soft. You no, you real. Yeah. Don't get no real than that. You know. So I think that's the craziest thing I've done. The crazy I've done in music wise, I would say battle rap. Mm. Battle rap. Hmm. From working from WBL to Trap House. I never saw myself be on stage. Mm. You know, never saw myself put myself out there and this type of thing, but I loved it. Yeah. It was just crazy to me where how that fast I got so known in another field of music. Yeah. You know, like, man, you know, I know this guy and and, and then be able to pay for people to come from different states here. And you know, it was just crazy to me mentally, like, wow, you know, this is this is for real, you know. But just show you also too. How much you can do, you put your mind to something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I think it's a wrap. Hey. The perfect, that was the perfect ending, too, because it let me see, like, how much that meant to you. And it's important mm. to say that, you know, these things, these are the things that let you know what, what you can do. Like you said, when you put your mind to it, mm. the possibilities are endless. You know so what I mean? You go. I had the right mindset, though. Right, right. Um, where Definitely. can people follow you if you want them to? You may not want, I don't know, because I know you well, say you're kind of done with the music biz, but. I would just say, just look on YouTube to, of my old stuff. Okay. Just type in the name, Philly Music. You can just type the name, Philly Music, man, on, on Google, but but you have it spelled with P-H-I-L-L-Y-S. Philly Music, music Man. man. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. You know, music, cause music Man, or Phil, is a name that you say, Somebody that's just talking about itself, they selfish. Right. Philly's music, man, if you're talking about the whole city. Right. I'm everybody music, man. I'm everybody friend. You know, that's how I want it that way. I put it that way so people can see the love and the respect I have for everybody. So it's not just me being arrogant. I'm Philly's music, man. No, I'm Philly's music, man. So I mean, I represent the whole city. Solid. That's what's up. Philly music, man. Philly's music, man. I appreciate you. you. Thanks for coming through. You know My pleasure, mean? sis. Seven questions with NTG. It's a wrap. My babe. Love y'all. Love you back. When you bowling, you never miss. Switch, switch. When you bowling, you never miss. Switch, switch. Switch, switch.